Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaGodash. Excuse me. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the hopefully elect out there pushing this word in truth, in sincerity, and indeed, your brother Chapatazah from the great millstone, Chicago branch, coming at you with another real quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson. And this weirdo that you see on your screen, this is actually uh, Salvador Ramos, the deceased gunman that recently murdered 19 children down there in Texas. All right. And as you can see, this guy suffered uh, mentally. All right. He suffered uh, from <laughs> obvious mental illness. Just didn't have it all there. All right. The Buffalo Bill spirit for those who ever seen Silence of the Lamb, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say Buffalo Bill. All right. <clears throat> but yeah, this is the individual that stormed into an elementary school and murdered 19 children in cold blood execution style. OK. Now, one would ask yourself, why in the hell was somebody that's not all there, how would they be able to get access to guns? You know, guns shouldn't be in this person's hands. They're clearly mentally unstable and unfit. OK, but see, that's the thing in America. The way the society is set up is so that incidents like this can take place so that they can be justified in trying to violate your uh, Second Amendment. All right. Your constitutional rights to own a firearm to protect yourself against, you know, tyranny. That's what initially the Constitution was written for, so that the citizens could protect themselves and rise up against any type of tyrannical means that the government would try to push on them. All right. And here we are just recently. Uh, you had uh, another recent shooting out there in Buffalo, New York, you know, where that Edomite, which just happens to be uh, still alive, he ran into that grocery store and shot up like like 10 people, I think. I forget. But, you know, you notice the trend here of back to back mass shootings. And with this is going to come sweeping legislation, like I said, to enact more gun control. All right. And they really wanted what the elites want is to completely disarm Americans so that they can more easily usher in their new world order. That's what they want. OK, so that they can enact draconian measures with very little resistance. OK, or manageable resistance. All right. That's why they can do the things that they do in China, completely shut down a country. All right. That's why they can do the things that they do in uh, Australia. Shutting everything down, locking everything down. OK, ruling with the true iron fist. But you see that the elites, they can't pull that in America because Americans have guns. There are more guns in America. There are more guns owned by America. So like there are more guns that are owned in America than actual Americans. <laughs> All right. You have Americans for every American. You know, there's like three, four guns that Americans own. All right. And most of those Americans are Edomites. You better be sure. <laughs> you know, there's some Jake in there, some heathens in there, you know, that believe in there, that exercise their constitutional right. But for the most part, the vast, vast majority of gun owners here in America are Edomites, you so-called white people. And those are going to be the main catalysts in the resistance. Those will be the main ones that will rebel against the government. All right. And you better believe these Edomites they're ready to die for their constitutional rights. You're not just going to take their guns, man. And so that's that's what's going to cause a very big mess, you know, from what I foresee here, man. So they use incidents like this to play on the emotions of people so that when they come and make their speeches, people are going to be all in for very strict gun control. 
All right. And that's just another tactic of this devil. All right. It's the overlay for the underlay. OK, that's another one of his deceptions in order to gain mass control. All right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. See, so they come on national television saying, you know, we have to protect our children. We have to protect the safety of Americans. And uh, we need stricter gun control. All right. That's what we need. All right. They want full control over who owns guns in America and who can't own guns in America. You see. All right. Why? Because they're setting up a war. They're setting up another civil war here in America. All right. It says his words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. You know, and like I said, they play on the emotions of people. They constantly show you images of, of deceased children that lost their lives to school shooters. And it, 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 it brings people's guards down. They get allured into the trap. And then before you know it, bam. All right. Draconian, tyrannical rule. Before you know it, the government just has complete say so. You have no more liberties. You have no more so-called rights. OK, you're, you're no longer so-called sovereign. And this is really applying to the Edomites because, you know, you, you Israelites, you niggas, you never had anything anyway. <laughs> all right. You never had liberty or freedom or justice. All right. This is really to those patriotic. All right. Gun toting red, white and blue blooded Americans. OK, that are willing to fight and die for their constitutional rights. OK. This is who this war is being stirred up against. All right. And you better believe Esau is not going to go out <laughs> soft. All right. Esau is going to go out guns blazing. All right. But nonetheless, this is Proverbs chapter 26, verse 24. He that hateth dissembleth with his lips and layeth up deceit. See that? So, amen. This devil, he hates everybody that's not an elite. He, he looks at everybody that are not in the elite rankings of society, he looks at them as uh, uh, bottom, uh, uh, useless eaters, cannon fodder, good for nothing. All right. That's how he sees it. You know, so what does he do? He lays up deceit to send you off. Verse 25, when he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. And that's Esau Edom. That's why the scriptures say, never trust thine enemy. All right. Never trust thy enemy. Because what? He got seven abominations in his heart. He's thinking of seven ways to overthrow you. OK, he's going to deceive you, get you in this trap. And he's thinking of seven ways to screw you over, man. All right. Verse 26, whose hatred is covered by deceit. See that? That's Esau. His wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. All right. And that's literally every day. All right. Whenever this devil proposes something good. All right. Or for the welfare of its citizens, you better believe that the wickedness is right around the corner and the wickedness ends up being showcased unto the world. It's just these blind Americans. All right. These sheeple that haven't got the, the, the picture yet. All right. And the majority of them aren't going to. And when they do, it's going to be too late. All right. It says, verse 27, whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth the stone, it will, it will return upon his own head, man. All right. So like it, it will return upon him. All right. So basically Esau, this trap that he's setting, this civil war that he's brewing up, it's going to spill out of control and it's going to end up messing him up, man. All right. And all these uh, elites, hey, these Americans, they're going to start hunting them, man. They're going to be going after these politicians. They're going to be going after these heads of state. They're going to be going after a uh, 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 high ranking individuals in society, man. All right. <laughs> these Edomites are getting ready to go all out. And it is going to be all out chaos out here, man. All right. Now I'm going to finish. And this ain't going to be the last uh, uh, school shooting, man. And I don't really have to touch too much on that guy because, you know, this, man, he's all fucked up. All right. You know how YouTube is with those with the <laughs> with the alphabet crew. Right. 
This is Second Ezra 15 and 16. I started at 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right. So these people are going to have guns. OK, it's getting ready to be city against city. All right. Realm against realm, gang against gang, militia against militia. All right. It's going to be all type of madness that breaks loose. Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right. So when they start coming with this uh, sweeping legislation for gun control, hey man, these people are going to bug the hell out. All right. They're going to grab their guns and go out blazing. All these uh, homegrown militias, they're going to be going against the police departments. Hell, some of the police are going to be siding with the uh, militias. They're going to be going against the government, man. It's about to be an all out fucking uh, melee out here, man. All right. Royal Rumble. All right. Just just with a lot of guns and death, man. You better believe it. And there's going to be more weirdos like this, man, doing a uh, uh, man terror, terrorizing this country, man. All right. Brutalizing people because these people are, are, are mentally unstable. These people are dripping with demons, man. And they, they're walking around on medication with guns in their hands, man. Just doing all type of crazy shit. And it's going to bring about the Civil War. Just you watch, man. It's going to get ugly out here. But, uh, you know, the men of the Lord and the chosen elect are going to be straight. They're going to make it through all the melee and the madness. All right. And I pray you, how uh, uh keep us covered, man. So with that, I hope this was edifying. All praises and glory and honor to you. How about you now? Shy, Shalom, and Ababa Ball.